Hey guys, new version of React OS is out and I got... That's right, I got sound to work with this version. All right, before I get started, uh, React OS is still alpha software. It's not even in beta yet, so there's still a lot of rough areas, but it's still an interesting piece of software to look at even at this stage. I've done a previous video on React OS and it covers quite a bit. I don't want to repeat myself. You can check that out. Uh, link is above. What I do want to focus on is some of the improvements and new features that have been added. Let's start with the uh, kernel improvements. There's been file system driver updates and the common cache module which helps improve memory management has also been updated. And this has resulted in a more stable system. In order to test this out, I did a few different configurations in VirtualBox. I did IDE controller with a ButterFS file system, IDE controller with FAT32 file system, and SATA controller with FAT32 as well. And for the most part, it does feel like it, it is more stable and faster, and the task manager seems more responsive when closing applications. And if you're using something like VirtualBox, make sure to set up enough uh, virtual disk space. Otherwise, you're going to get messages like the above. So one of the new features is the uh, window snapping, which can be easily demonstrated by uh, having a couple of windows and uh, tossing them to the side. And they, they kind of snap into place. And also a couple of new themes have been added, uh, Mizu and Lunar. One is primarily blue with uh, white and the other is primarily green with some black. All right, next item is the font improvements. Uh, I don't know which programs have actually benefited from this, but it's not LibreOffice or Abbey Word. I still see issues with those. So one of the great things about React OS, just like Windows, is that you don't have to depend on the package manager for your software. You can download from many different websites, many different software. So that's what I tried to do. I, I just decided to go beyond the package manager and see if there's any other Office or word processors that I would actually work with uh, React OS. And uh, here's what I tried. I also tried installing some other browsers that weren't part of the uh, package manager as well and uh, my luck wasn't any better there as well but here's what I've tried and uh, here's the results. So let's end this on a happy note. You, most of you are probably here just to figure out how to install the, uh, the sound driver for uh, React OS. So here you go. First, start up the uh, package manager and install AC97 drivers. This won't actually install, but more download and allow you to extract to a folder. Follow along just like I am doing on the screen. Once it finishes uh, extracting the, uh, the files, Refresh the this folder here and uh, you should see an AC97 folder inside there will be an INF and driver file copy these just like I am to the react OS folder Once you're finished copying the uh, files, you're going to have to reboot and you're going to have to reboot a couple of times. So reboot and then reboot again. After the second reboot, you'll be able to have sound at this point once you reach the desktop and you will hear. And since you got audio now, you might as well install Winamp. It really whips the llama's ass. All right, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.